Hi everyone, Ethan from Microchip Technology here. In today's video, I'll be introducing you to our brand new MTCH9010. The MTCH9010 is a turnkey liquid detection device that helps you reliably detect liquids without adding unnecessary complexity to your design. Undetected liquid leaks can cause serious damage, not just to the system, but to the end user as well. Water damage is a common cause of insurance claims and can lead to repairs costing thousands of dollars. Traditional detection methods depend on complex firmware, analog components, and constant microcontroller supervision, introducing unnecessary design complexity and increased power consumption which is especially important in battery-powered devices. The MTCH9010 is a fully integrated turnkey liquid detection solution. This means no firmware, no complex analog front end, and no continuous microcontroller involvement. Detection is handled entirely in the hardware of the MTCH9010. The MTCH9010 supports both capacitive and conductive sensing, enabling detection of a wide range of liquids depending on your application needs. It is optimized for space and power constrained systems. It comes in a compact 3x3 VQFM package and operates from negative 40 to 125 degrees Celsius and consumes less than one microamp of current in its lowest power configuration. The MTCH9010 has features like adjustable sleep intervals and enhanced configuration mode, making it easy to fine tune performance and adapt to your design needs, all without adding system overhead. And with current and emerging regulations like the EU 0.3 watts standby limit, the MTCH9010 helps you stay ahead of efficiency targets while reducing design complexity. Whether you're building a simple leak detector or a connected system that streams real-time data, the MTCH9010 gives you the flexibility to scale with none of the usual trade-offs such as having to redesign your whole system to add functionality. So to help you get started with the MTCH9010, we offer an evaluation kit which makes prototyping simple, straightforward, and quick. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the box when you purchase this evaluation kit. First and foremost, you'll find the evaluation board itself, which contains the MTCH9010, along with two sensor paddles in the box as well, one for capacitive sensing and one for conductive sensing. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at the evaluation kit and walk through how everything works. Starting at the bottom left corner is the power supply section. The board can be powered through a USB-C cable using this connector here. Above that is a 3-pin jumper for selecting the supply voltage, either 5 volts from USB or 3.3 volts regulated by the onboard circuit. And next to that, there's a current measurement header to monitor current. Just remove this jumper and place your measurement tool in line. So up in the top left corner of the board, you'll find the external control interface. This header gives you access to key signals for system integration or added visibility during testing. VDD and ground can be used to power the board externally instead of a USB-C. Just make sure to remove the power select jumper to prevent damage to the board. Detect is a digital output that goes high when liquid is detected. This is useful for triggering alerts or events in your system. Heartbeat toggles regularly to indicate that the device is running. This is helpful for basic system health monitoring. You'll also see two status LEDs on the right side of the board, one for heartbeat and one for liquid detection so you can visually confirm activity. Wake is a digital input that allows a host microcontroller to wake the device from sleep. This is ideal for low power application. And TX and RX are your UART lines. Use an enhanced configuration mode to send commands and stream real time data. So let's go ahead and take a look at the slide switches. These control how the device operate on the evaluation kit. Let's start with mode. This selects between capacitive or conductive sensing, depending on which type of sensor you're using in your application. ECFG enables enhanced configuration mode, allowing you to configure the device through a serial terminal over USB when the board powers up. This unlocks advanced options such as custom thresholds, sleep timing, and more, all communicated over a USB to UR interface. On the screen is a full configuration sequence for the enhanced configuration mode. Next is lock. This restores safe settings from memory at startup. These are the parameters previously configured through the enhanced configuration mode. Output enables extended output over UART, including raw and delta measurements. With ECFG on, you can choose what gets displayed, raw, delta, or both. Sleep period controls how often the device takes a measurement or lets it wake up based on an external signal. USB bridge enables or disables the USB to UR connection. If off, UR communication over USB is disabled, which also disables enhanced configuration and data streaming through that interface. Next to the switches is a threshold adjustment knob, which sets detection sensitivity. Turning it clockwise reduces sensitivity and vice versa. The knob is used when configuration is controlled by the onboard switches or when ECFG is off. 
And above the threshold knob is the reset button. Pressing it simply resets the device. On the right side of the board, there are two headers, one for capacitive and one for conductive sensing. Simply connect the sensor type using the sensors that were provided with the evaluation kit. And finally, here's the MTCH9010, again, packed with functionality in a tiny 3x3 VQFM footprint right here on the evaluation board. So that's a quick overview of the MTCH9010 evaluation kit. For more details, check the links in the description. You'll find the full user guide and a step-by-step -step getting started guide to help you get set up quickly. Now, let's walk through how to start evaluating with the MTCH9010 using this kit. We'll be using the slide switches for configuration, so I'll go ahead and make sure ECFG is set to off. This tells the device to rely on the physical switch settings instead of UART commands. Next, I'll set sensing mode to conductive since we'll be using the conductive sensor for this demo. Let's leave lock off so the device doesn't try to load any saved settings, and I'll set the sleep period to take a measurement every two seconds. Now, I'll turn the threshold knob to about one third of the way up. This gives us a moderate detection sensitivity. With everything set, I'll go ahead and press the reset button to apply the settings. Now, let's go ahead and test it. I'll add some water to the conductive sensor. Once the sensor reading crosses the set threshold, the detect output goes high and the corresponding LED lights up as well. This LED gives you instant visual feedback that liquid was successfully detected. Now, you've seen how easy it is to integrate smart liquid detection into any application using the MTCH9010. If you'd like to learn more about the MTCH9010 or the evaluation kit itself, check out the links in the description below. I've also included a link to the product page, evaluation kit details, and some key technical documents to help you get started evaluating the MTCH9010 in your own design. As always, thank you for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this.